on that kick. Great athleticism. What a powerful slam. Nice drop kick. That's got to be painful, folks. Oh no. And folks, it don't get more painful than that. That drop off. Yeah, you like that. Right in front of the apartment. He makes the tag. Yeah. Oh, she. Oh. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Oh, what an incredible kill. Oh, shit. What the? What the hell is that? That was weird. Attitude, the baby. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. I didn't know how to do the stupid attitude. They just told me how to do it. That's stupid. So how did you get down the Ah. And another kick. No. He's able to make a tie. He missed. Here's the owner. He just turned him inside out. Okay. It's incredible how easy he makes that look. What force behind that tackle? Oh, that's a good wave. Oh, what's so bad either? For you. Oh gosh, careful, careful. Oh, oh that's good. What the hell? What a sickening thud as these two collide. Oh, and the knee connects. A shot to the gut. Now an arm lock. Oh, get up. He sees it. What? And he's in there trying to get something going. Hit him. Thank back. you. And the rest starting to bring some order to this match. He moved on the ground. Oh, great. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, this is it. Doggy style. Oh. Oh shit, I forgot to do the attitude error mode. Ugh. Quick tag there. A huge 
elbow. Billy taking advantage. Bam. Animal turns it around. He dropped him right on his head with a DDT. to the win. That was insane. And he ah. turns the tie. <laughs> it's my turn now, says Billy. Oh my, oh my god, god, all that steel right steps. Oh, yeah, that's right. Turns it around on him and what a move. Rest. Billy Gunn looking good there with the counter. Heading back into the ring now. Six. Oh man, I think that got the ring post. Six. We're up to seven. If this was a hockey match, we'd say he hit the boards. Watch it. He hits the hardest move. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Good. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm doing. Stop it, let's go for the pin. It's time to go I don't understand. Yeah, you're new tag team champions. I forgot to do the. Don't even know how to do this. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, must complete, blah, blah, blah. The incident in Montreal saw the controversial departure of Bret Hart and the introduction of WWE's greatest villain, Mr. McMahon. I truly believe that Bret Hart screwed Bret Hart. I have no sympathy for Bret. Every villain needs a hero to battle, and the perfect match for Mr. McMahon was a foul-mouthed, blue-collar redneck from Victoria, Texas. Talk about your psalms, talk about John 316. Austin, Austin 316, 316 says, says I just whipped your ass. ass. He's a rattlesnake and he'll strike anybody he wants to. Anytime you stick your head in the ring with Steve Austin, the bottom line is, I'm going to kick your ass. He doesn't give a damn about anybody or anything. Vince McMahon sits over there. The arrogant piece of trash he is. I don't think Austin's going to be employee of the month. I'll, I'll tell you who I am, all right, Mr. Austin? I'm your boss. That doesn't impress me one bit. And frankly, I don't give a damn. Royal Rumble's rolling around, and the word in the locker room is that everybody's gunning for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-uh, that's not gonna work. Austin is the marked man! Steve Austin strikes first, and that's the bottom line. You see, everybody in that damn locker room's got a pager, and everybody that's looked at that pager sees the 316, so their ass belongs to me. Austin wants to fight the world! He me! Steve Austin's gonna do it to others before they do it to him. You say I'm a marked man, I say you're full of you-know-what, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so.